Museums and galleries have an immensely important educational role. The Wiltshire Heritage Museum in Devizes offers creative and inspirational ways of bringing together people and objects. Through these activities, history really comes alive. This is the Explorers Club on a Saturday morning workshop. The Museum Education and Outreach Officer is leading a session about the history of writing. Now, that first section here, have you heard of a race of people called the Sumerians? They were the first people to invent a sort of writing. And what they did was have little clay tablets. And that's what you're going to do there. You're going to make yourself up a little clay tablet. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. 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 It smells like honey. Oh, it is. It's beeswax. It's all beeswax. When you get there, have a good sniff. It smells like your honey on your toast in the morning, if you like that. You don't want to really press hard. You're not digging the wax out. It's quite sharp, the pointy end. You can just write your name. I've had a go at the dip pens, which is what this is. I've had a go at writing the I've had a, had a go at writing on the slate. I've had a go at the clay. It's all honeyed though. Even right. though these look like fountain pens, they're definitely different. And you get to feel what it's like to be alive in other times. There's the Greek tab wax tablets and the Romans used them as well because they stole a lot of things from the Greeks. Um, the Egyptian hieroglyphics they've just done and Sumerian, wa and Sumerian tablets. We all need to know about the past because if we can understand ancient cultures and societies then it helps to explain how we live today. The museum offers activities for all ages and abilities exploring and interpreting the evidence from the past. There are a range of hands-on encounters with history. Here, ancient technologist Neil Burridge is leading a workshop using techniques of Bronze Age smelting and casting. The later on, you now have to alloy tin with the copper, only 10% on average, sometimes a bit higher, sometimes a bit lower. But it makes a completely different metal hard metal even from cast. It really makes you think and, and want to ask questions about all the little bits and pieces that they must have done, all the you know, all the different processes that they went through. Well you can read about it, but actually seeing it I mean just just sort of feeling the heat and the smell of the metal. I'm gonna pass around two objects. We've got some copper oil. This is from the Bronze Age mine in North Wales and this is what they would have been using, scraping it out with animal bones. It's comparatively a soft rock, so it's quite easily removed. I'm going to pass around Normally you only see behind the display case in the museum. I knew little to no or nothing about Bronze Age metalwork, and now I know quite a lot more. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I run a, 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 a local foundry, a bronze foundry, and it was very interesting to know I could come along and see um, this old technique in progress, and so I found it very, very interesting. Technology used in the Bronze Age here brings to life the objects in the museum. So actually seeing the technology actually in use and then seeing the finished object in the castle is immensely useful for me as a student because it just tells me the whole picture behind the object, the object itself. Museums such as the Wiltshire Heritage Museum and Devizes offer a unique kind of learning based on first-hand experience of authentic objects. Using them we can develop both our learning skills and our understanding of the world. Learning is a lifelong process for everyone.